Everybody knows that music. <laughs> so yes. I feel so excited right now. Eating healthy is a priority for any professional athlete. Dun, 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 dun. And here today to share their family's take on healthy and tasty tacos and guacamole. Welcome for the first time, NFL running back Matt Forte and his yes. beautiful wife, Danielle. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go. I know you're just, you're just retired. Are you allowed to do that stuff? I am. I All am. right. So you guys have been together for married for seven years. Mm -hmm. You have two beautiful children. I imagine cooking is like a family affair in your house. I mean, if you got to, you have to stay healthy. It is. It is. I mean, it's it's always fun to get them involved in stuff. And uh, my mom grew up cooking in the kitchen, and I would always be in there trying to help and stuff. But we tried to do that with our, our children as well, because that's what she did as well. But you grew up in Louisiana, so the way you mm -hmm. ate there and the way you're eating now, probably a little different. Not as, as no. conducive to <laughs> professional football <laughs> as you would think. You know, yeah. pretty much battered and fried. Right, a there. lot of fried things. And you grew up in Chicago. I steak did, and potatoes. but my dad is from the South, so it kind of balances oh, out a little bit. Okay. We kind of mix it up a little bit. All right, so you have a, a very healthy twist on tacos and uh, guacamole. You guys dig in. Mm -hmm. So how is your guacamole different than a regular guacamole? Okay, so he's from the South, so he likes spice, right? Ah, okay. So chili Pepper peppers, flakes. we add, add in some serrano peppers. Serrano. serrano. They're, they're spicier than jalapenos. Ooh. And then That's a lot. garlic. Minced oh, I garlic. love garlic. I think garlic makes everything better. You know, it's a Louisiana mm. thing. A little bit of that. salt. Yeah. Uh huh. Yum. What's that? Some lemon juice. Lemon juice. Jus. <laughs> oh, is that how you say it? Lemon yeah. juice. Yeah. Make it get more fancy. Red pepper, a red um, onion. Excuse red onion. Me. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Cilantro. It was really good. Nice. Yeah. Well, I had to. We were talking earlier, mm -hmm. and you were talking to me about how you're, you did the test, and yeah. they told you you should be eating things Ooh. like. Lamb, so we yeah, made you the lamb exactly, earlier, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's some lean meat. So yeah, this is a healthier choice than ground beef for me. Yeah. Is is a uh, bison meat, which is super lean. Which is what bison. you make. It's bison, it's bison. bison. And, and, and turkey. ground turkey. There's turkey in there, mm -hmm. and, and ground so. turkey. Yeah. But you did. You also said that Danielle does not like avocados. What? Yeah. I don't. What? what? Wait, hold on. You do know what you know what that. I, I know. It's a texture. Do women thing, ever guys? know what they really want, though? <laughs> <laughs> Only person yes. knows what women the want. The women here. Yes, we <laughs> yeah, do. Be careful. <laughs> only people, and Mel Gibson is the only one who knows what women want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. How is this? How was this not avocado? Yeah. You know, I think maybe because I made it. And <laughs> to my, yeah, I trust it, and I can make it to my texture. Because you know, everyone makes guac a little bit different. Yeah, that's true. Some is like pasty, some is too yeah. chunky. I hear you. It's a weird right? texture. It's like if you think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Then you, you start to get it. Too tomatoes are more weird to me than, than oh, avocados. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Tomatoes are my favorite. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't. Oh. So now uh, with the bison. That it, is that gamey? I don't so mean like it, NFL gamey. I mean it's gamey. <laughs> it can it can be. Hey, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Was that a mom joke? Not that was a mom joke. <laughs> yeah, I went to Mark school too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can be at some time, but that's why I, I picked this one. And I mean, other than tacos, I really don't eat bison meat. It's outside of the, the taco seasoning in it. Because for some reason when she cooks it, it, it cooks out the gamey taste in it. Interesting. Right. So I, I want to go back to what you said, what women want. You know, the, the yeah. reference of Malcolm. Mm -hmm. You actually know what women want because you created something, your clothing line, 828. I do. I do. It was your idea. You want to explain a little bit what this is because you guys love this. Yeah, uh, my wife uh, was struggling at a time when we first had our first child on getting comfortable clothes that were easy enough to breastfeed. Mm -hmm. And so we were on That's a plane true. one time and she had the big apron thing on and I was like, you know what? Yeah. How about you create your own clothing mm -hmm. line where it's Aww. these Dick. transitional clothes that are easy to breastfeed and she's done that and we've continued to transition as she's transitioned out of having kids. Yeah, because that, that's, that's that jumpsuit. That's that's adorable. Adorable. That was a breastfeeding easy jumpsuit? Yeah, so is this one. And this is, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Let me see, let me see. You see the look at how pretty it. Yeah. That is so cute. Yeah. And there's the zipper. There's the zipper that goes like that. Right there, and you can cover, and then you can use it afterwards because you don't want to buy so something that you can't use afterwards. Yeah. It's so cute. Sure. That is fashion and function and breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I love that you named it 828. Mm -hmm. Will you tell us why 828? I, I was so silly. I said, oh, that must be their area code. <laughs> no, actually, my dad is a pastor, and um, my mom's favorite Bible verse is Romans 828. And I was trying to find something that, you know, represented motherhood and it's so hard motherhood is hard but you love every mm -hmm. moment but at the end of the day you know that you know everything's going to work out for the greater good so you're like okay i'm good now isn't good. that great that's, that's wonderful mm -hmm. um i don't want to stop you guys from building but i have oh, a yes, question yeah. so matt i know um 
uh, you actually have the baby talk down, or actually baby sayings. Yeah. You stepped yeah. into that. As so, well. you know, we, I, we started a clothing line for, you know, maternity, and then we transitioned to, like, Ooh. lifestyle and all that. But that is so cute. a lot of, right. you know, women who are <laughs> breastfeeding and stuff, they want to buy onesies as well for babies. Yeah. And yeah. I like shirts that have cool sayings on them and stuff. Right. So, yeah. Super like, cool. we come up with eat, sleep, and it's not rocket science. And that's the Aww. 828 shirt right there, yeah. my little boy, with Aww. the uh, all things work together for good. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of different uh, onesies and yeah. different cool sayings on them. Oh, wow. So How old are your kids? Uh, five and two. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, you know, maybe so there's another right one uh, coming. <laughs> uh, she can take advantage of the onesies and uh, Danielle, no? Huh? No. Yes, no? No. <sighs> Shut down. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> You know, now that's research and development. <laughs> well, uh, no, we can still, you know, research. Right. <laughs> it's the development part. Right. right. Practice you know, we for the, the game. Practice, yeah. you know? right. Gotcha. Hey. I said, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you retired. It's only fair that she retires too. Right. <laughs> Which is a big point, by the way. I know a lot of Chicago fans and Bears yeah. fans were excited to tell everybody why. Ooh. Yeah, I had a big ceremony uh, the other day and. It was huge for me to sign a one-day contract to retire. Uh, once you're a bear, it's you're a bear for life. Aww. And uh, I played there eight years, two years with the Jets, and yeah. um, that's where I started my career and followed in the footsteps of Walter Payton, one of the greatest to ever play the game, yep. and I'm second on the list for bears right behind him. So. Whoa! And I'd love to see that loyalty in the NFL when there's so many players shifting around yeah, for you to come that's back and yeah. be able yeah. to, to do that. Yeah, it's, it's tough in the NFL, the loyalty part. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, this set was going crazy when they knew you were coming here today. <laughs> you know. know. Fantasy football? Yeah. yeah. A few of them said, <laughs> man, he ruined my fantasy football league. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you Did you guys do? enjoy it? It's amazing. Ready? It's really good. The bison okay, is such a great little oh. passion next.